Is time travel possible? Well, yes, and you are doing it right now. Advancing to the future at an impressive speed of one second per second. So in a way, you are a time traveler, but kind of slow one. I'm sure this isn't the kind of time traveling you are seeking. Am I right or I'm right? Let me confuse you a bit here. I think there is no such thing as time. Because we humans calculate time by a day and night calendar. And advancing into another day is considered as a movement for us. Even in our own ways, we get older by seconds converted into minutes, minutes then converted into hours, hours converted into days, and so forth, so on. But this day and night theory does not work in space. That's why it does not affect anything else except then humans. So what does that mean? The theory of time is created by humans, right? In certain ways, time is created by humans. Represented on your wrist, just like the watch you wear. Now, can you destroy your watch? Yes? No? Maybe? You can. So does that mean that you can stop time or manipulate it or destroy it? No, that's weird. You can create something but can't manipulate it, change it or even update it. It's same as NASA telling us that we no more acquire the technology we had in 1969 when we landed on the moon. <laughs> Wait a second. NASA did give that excuse for not sending any manned mission on moon. Oh, humans, we are so naive. Well, coming back to the time travel. It's a bit confusing but easy to understand if you forget everything and rethink about it with an alternate perspective. Perspective. Yes, that's the word. Time is an illusion actually created to hide the perspective of reality. The reality is that we live in dimensions, not time. Let me explain it to you a bit. We all know that we are born and we will die someday. It is certain that we will die. Now that's true, right? That's pre-decided that we will grow up. If everything goes fine, we will die. Get older and die. Then of course we will take a rebirth if you believe in all those reincarnation theories. So if everything is pre-decided, then what is time? Because time is not constant and keeps changing, but everything is already decided. Then what time has to do with anything? There is nothing like time. We live in dimensions, guys. So if we don't live in time, then why are we wasting our time on time traveling? Time is created by humans, not by the universe itself. So time does not exist, right? Then how can you travel into something which does not exist? Hmm. Does that mean all the intelligent people like Albert Einstein working on time travel were actually wasting their own time and ours as well on wrong concept? Well, I'll leave that blank for you to fill in. What about working on dimensions traveling? Can we travel into another dimension? In past or future dimension? Comment your perspective and I'll make a video of dimensions traveling. Make sure you subscribe the channel and ring that bell while you travel into your own different time or dimension or whatever it is. Cosmos Baba, the hidden truth, guys, in English.